Hey everyone, Michael here, CTO at Buddy Boss, back again for another product update video. I'm so excited to share with you what we've achieved in this past quarter, as well as an update on new features that are currently in development. To start, let's take a look at the Buddy Boss platform and theme. We're working very hard on releasing new features for you, and at the same time, we also want to maintain a constant focus on improving the stability and extendability of the Buddy Boss platform and theme. And so in this past quarter, we focused a lot on under the hood changes that have allowed us to release 298 bug fixes and improvements. Many of these were reported or suggested by customers. We also released the first of a number of performance and security improvements with bigger updates in the pipeline to ensure your sites can grow and scale seamlessly to your needs. And our team has also been focused on restructuring code, which was previously blocking us from developing many of the exciting items in our roadmap. Buddy Boss platform was forked from BuddyPress, which itself is over 10 years old. We're working hard to bring everything up to date with modern standards so that we can implement our new technologies. The work we do now is vital for allowing us to build bigger features and to build them faster. Throughout the quarter, we've made significant progress on three major features currently in development. Our designers and developers have been hard at work on the Tutor LMS integration, which we know many of you are excited for. This will ensure a beautiful experience inside the BuddyBoss platform and theme. For our web push notifications and live messaging features, we've been restructuring a lot of the code to make these features possible, as well as building a system for allowing for live interactions. These features are going to deliver conversations and engagement on your sites that's going to happen live, in real time, without the need for browser-intensive scripts, which ultimately slow down your site. They're going to really make your community come alive, and we're so excited to get these out to you. For our upcoming Tutor LMS integration, in addition to bringing the look and feel of the BuddyBoss theme to all the Tutor LMS screens, we're planning a close integration with the BuddyBoss platform itself by creating a seamless experience between Tutor LMS courses and BuddyBoss profiles, groups, and activity feeds. We've been spending extra time on this integration in order to launch with support for the upcoming Tutor LMS 2.0 update. For more details on what to expect in the next evolution of Tutor LMS, make sure to check out the sneak peek Themium released in their blog. Next up, let's look at the BuddyBoss app. In the past quarter, we released 205 bug fixes, improvements, and new features for the BuddyBoss app, including the ability to upload videos from the app, enhanced deep linking, allowing you to link directly to app pages, in-app products, and core app screens, new hooks for custom development, as well as a fantastic new debug tool and improved documentation, and the ability to have your tab bar show consistently throughout your app. Members can now upload videos to activity posts, forums, and messages directly from inside your app. Once a video is uploaded, it can be liked and commented on, as well as moved into albums alongside photos. We'll soon be releasing the ability for members to change the thumbnails of their videos inside your app, bringing full feature parity with video uploading on the web. Deep linking is how your app knows to open a link in a specific screen of your app, rather than opening it in a browser. And last quarter, we released new links for deep linking, which you can use to open app-specific content such as app pages, in-app products, and core app screens. For example, if you wanted to have a block for a specific in-app product that will open the product when users tap on it, you can do so by using the product's deep link. Or, if you want to open a specific profile or setting screen from an app page or menu, you can do so by using the corresponding deep link for those screens. These links will greatly improve your ability to build a seamless user experience inside your app. Make sure to check out our new deep linking in the Buddy Boss app tutorial for a full walkthrough of using these new deep links inside your app. And last quarter, we released some significant improvements to developer access, making it easier than ever for app developers to do custom development for the Buddy Boss app. Our dedicated developer access team has been working hard on implementing requests from customers and developers. 24 new hooks have been implemented since June, and the team is currently working on making all screens reusable as components, meaning developers will have more core elements to use in their custom screens. And in addition to changes to the app, we've released new tools and updated documentation to make custom development even easier. We launched a new debug tool to help debug React Native code. Developers can use the tool to output text from their custom code into a console log, as well as view a log of all API responses coming from their app in real time. For our documentation, our technical writers have been updating our app codecs with clearer descriptions and examples. 
Developer access is a core part of the BuddyBoss app, and we remain committed to giving developers more freedom and flexibility in their custom development. We recently launched the first of a number of features we're planning to allow greater customization of your apps. You now have the option to set the tab bar to be visible across your entire app and not just on screens specified in your tab bar menu. This is particularly useful for limiting the number of interactions your members will need to take to return to core screens in your app. To enable this option, go to BuddyBoss app, branding tab bar, and set the tab bar visibility setting to show on all screens. Next, I'd like to share a preview of a few new features and improvements currently in development, including app support for mentioning and tagging members, the ability to add in-app products to your registration form, and a major update to the in-app purchases component, which will bring support for more payment modals, closer integration with membership plugins, and will make setting up in-app products easier than ever. Let's jump into them. The ability to mention members in activity posts, forum discussions, and comments is a powerful feature of the BuddyBoss platform, and we're excited to bring it to the BuddyBoss app. Once released, members will see a list of recommended users after typing the at symbol. As more letters are typed, the list will be filtered. Tapping on a member will populate the text with their username or nickname, which once saved can be tapped on to open the member's profile. This feature will not only work in activity posts and forum discussions, but also in the comment sections of blog posts and media. We worked hard on building a fast and seamless experience, which we can't wait to share with you soon. Next up is the ability to add in-app products to your app's registration. By enabling this feature, members will be required to select an in-app product as part of their registration. You can specify whether the products display before, on, or after the registration form. If you select before, members will be asked to select an in-app product before completing the registration fields. If you select on, members will select an in-app product under the registration fields. And if you select after, members will be asked to select an in-app product after completing the registration fields. In all cases, members will need to complete the purchase of their selected in-app product in order to register. This feature is particularly useful if you require members to enroll in a free or paid membership in order to access your app. We're also working on a major update to the in-app purchases component, which will implement a number of improvements that have been requested. This update will allow you to add images to your in-app products and subscription groups, improve the product screen to better differentiate between new and purchased products, bring full support for consumable products, for example, when selling access to a course, which will expire and be repurchasable after a specified time, and more closely integrate subscription groups with membership plugins to create a more seamless upgrade and downgrade experience. Monetization is a vital requirement for businesses, so our team is hard at work to help provide as many ways as possible to sell content in your app. And that wraps up this product update. Thank you all for the amazing ideas you've been sharing. They are so incredibly helpful for helping us to build products and features that empower you to achieve your goals. We're working hard to deliver all the features previewed today as soon as possible, and I look forward to sharing more with you soon.